The Sedona Method lists nine emotional states. In this video, we will learn about apathy and how to let it go. If you don't understand this video, I have previous videos that go into detail on the process on my website. The link is in the description. The first and lowest emotional state is apathy. In apathy, we see only failure and how we can't and no one else can. Some words that describe apathy are can't win, dead, defeated, discouraged, hopeless, I can't, it's too late, powerless, too tired, useless, and what's the use? Think of a time when you experienced apathy. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experienced apathy. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time, welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining apathy. The next emotion, one step up from apathy, is grief. Sometimes grief can feel stronger than apathy as apathy can feel numbing. In grief, our thoughts revolve around how much we hurt, what we have lost, and whether or not we can get anyone to help us. Some words that describe grief are anguished, ashamed, despair, forgotten, guilty, inconsolable, neglected, nobody cares, rejected, sadness, unloved, and why me? Think of a time when you experience grief. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experience grief. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Okay, one more time. Think of a time when you experience grief. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. 
Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining grief. The next emotion is fear. In fear, our thoughts revolve around doom and destruction. We focus on how we could get hurt, what we may lose, and protecting ourselves and those around us. Some words that describe fear are anxious, dread, embarrassed, insecure, panic, paranoid, suspicious, terrified, and worry. Think of a time when you experience fear. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experience fear. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Okay, one more time. Think of a time when you experience fear. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining fear. The next emotion is lust. We focus on positive fantasies, but deep down there is a feeling of I don't have or it is not right to have. No matter how much we get, we do not feel satisfied. Some words that describe lust are can't wait, fixated, Gluttonous, I want, impatient, lecherous, manipulative, overindulgent, and scheming. Think of a time when you experience lust. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experienced lust. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When?
All right, one more time. Think of a time when you experienced lust. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining lust. The next emotion is anger. In anger, we focus on destruction and what we will do to others. Our thoughts are on getting even and making others pay. Some words that describe anger are annoyed, argumentative, defiant, explosive, frustrated, irate, livid, outraged, resentment, stewing, and vengeful. Think of a time when you experienced anger. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experienced anger. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time. Think of a time when you experienced anger. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining anger. The next emotion is pride. In pride, our thoughts are based on what we have done and what we know. We want people to notice how great we are, and there may be a feeling of, I did it, but I can't do it again. Some words that describe pride are above reproach, arrogant, boastful, conceited, gloating, know-it-all, never wrong, snobbish, special, superior, and vain. Think of a time when you experience pride. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experience pride. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here.
as best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time. Think of a time when you experienced pride. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you let go of any remaining pride. The next emotion is courageousness. In courageousness, our thoughts and feelings are focused on what we can do and learn and how we can support others to to do the same. Some words that describe courageousness are alert, alive, centered, cheerful, compassion, exhilaration, I can, non-resistant, positive, strong, supportive, and zest. Think of a time when you experience courageousness. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. Note, if you have trouble letting go of the positive feelings, just welcome them. But remember, as you let go of even these positive feelings, you will begin to feel lighter and brighter. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experience courageousness. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time. Think of a time when you experience courageousness. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you fully welcome or let go of any courageousness. The next feeling is acceptance. In acceptance, we welcome everything the way it is with no need to change it. It is okay just as it is and is beautiful as it is. Our thoughts are in love with what is. Life is joyous. Some words that describe acceptance are abundance, balance, compassion, delight, elated, everything's okay, fullness, harmonious, I have, nothing to change, playful, and well-being. 
Think of a time when you experience acceptance. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experience acceptance. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time. Think of a time when you experience acceptance. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? Repeat as necessary until you fully welcome or let go of any acceptance. The final feeling is peace. In peace, we feel we are whole and complete. Everyone and everything is part of ourselves. Our mind is clear yet totally aware. All is well. Some words that describe peace are ageless, aware, centered, eternal, I am, imperturbable, presence, quiet, still, and whole. Think of a time when you experience peace. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Really let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? Again, think of a time when you experienced peace. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When? One more time. Think of a time when you experienced peace. Welcome the sensations, pictures, and sounds in your mind. Just let them be here. As best you can, just for now, could you welcome or even let this feeling go? Would you? When?
Repeat as necessary until you fully welcome or let go of any peace. Please visit my website for my latest videos on the Sedona Method and living a life of imperturbability. The link will be in the description too. If you didn't understand this video, I have previous videos that go into detail on the process. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share to help get the word out to those who are suffering.